First day delivery number one has just arrived. Dear God, these are the most generous cuttings I've ever seen. <gasps> I know what this one is. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Claire, and this is Yoli. I make videos all about house plant care, sharing tips and tricks I've learnt over the years to help keep your plants happy and healthy. And I'm actually just going back and filming an intro to this video because I got so excited with the plants that I ordered, I completely forgot to film one. But I am turning 30 next week. Oh my god, 30, so grown up. What are you talking about? You look so young. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I know, I know. And so I thought I would treat myself to some new plants. All things considered, I think I've been fairly good this year. I haven't added that many new plants to my collection. I've got rid of some of my plants and given them to other homes. I've swapped a lot. So I have placed a fairly big Etsy order. I ordered from a few different Etsy shops, so I'll link all the ones that I use down below. But genuinely, I am so, so excited about these plants. And I feel like they arrived in the perfect order as well, excitement wise. So hopefully this video will just get better and better. <laughs> so yes, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. So, birthday delivery number one has just arrived and I'm pretty sure I know what's in this box just because I think this box is a little bit lighter than some of the others that I am anticipating. Um, but I am, honestly, I'm so excited with all of, all of the plants that I've ordered in this Etsy haul that I've done for myself. And also I was gonna say, I reached out to the people that I bought off on Etsy and they've all given discount codes for you guys to use. So I will put them below all of these so you've got all the information and if you want to shop there yourself then you can but this one is from indoor garden by marco and i actually can't remember what i ordered from who so i am excited uh, and that's what it looks like inside the box it's got lots of these dreaded packing peanuts that literally go everywhere <gasps> oh this is not the order i thought it was but this is a really nice one to start with Okay, so there are two plants in here. And this one, you like, if you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know why I've ordered this plant. You guys know how much I love, loved my Papyromia Hope. It was honestly one of my favorite plants. It's, it's a relatively cheap one to buy over here in the UK. It's probably considered quite common, but I just think it is the most wonderful plant and it made me so happy. And a lot of you actually said you had the same issue, but it just almost overnight seemed to rot and the main stem disconnected from the root system. And I have put lots of sections into different cropping mediums, but a lot of them have failed. So, oh my goodness, it's actually bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Um, but I thought I would go ahead and order another little one just so that I could feel that I've still got this plant in my collection while the rest of it grows back. And then hopefully I can pot the successful cuttings back up with this one and get a lovely full plant going again. But oh my goodness, the size of the leaves on this one are way bigger, way bigger than my ones on my other plant were. They're huge. And considering this is quite a small plant as well. Oh, it's just so lovely to see a nice healthy one. <laughs> I'm so excited to have this plant back in my collection because from my from my experience with propagating this plant in the past it can be quite slow to get going as I say the success rate I've had in propagating this plant hasn't always been that high so I just wanted to ensure that I could keep this plant and now I potentially have multiples or maybe I just have one very full one in the making so yeah yay that's plant number one and then this second one is another one that I've wanted for a really long time. And it's a, oh my goodness. I don't know if I can pronounce the name very well. It's a Tenanthi Amargris Mint. I think that's how you say it. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And it's a little ditty baby one, which is just so beautiful. It's got those gorgeous kind of minty green tops to the leaves. And then it's got kind of a purpley undertone on the bottom of its leaves. And I've got another Tenanthi, in fact, it's right behind the camera, I can show you it. 
I've got this one in my collection and I just love the way that this one grows. It's in the same family or very closely related to the Calathea and you can absolutely see why it does the classic prayer plant thing of going up and down. I have however found it to be a ridiculously easy plant to look after compared to Calathea. It really doesn't get very high humidity, it gets barely any light and it just stays looking really really gorgeous. So yeah I have just been kind of looking at other varieties of Tenanthe and wanting to add more to my collection and that one has seemed to be fairly fast growing so although this one is just a diddy little baby at the moment I'm hoping that it should size up fairly quickly I think I'm probably gonna get it into pon that's what I've done for that one and it's just made my life ridiculously easy and that plant seems happy so I think that's probably what I'm gonna do so it's another day, another unboxing. I've just had this parcel arrive along with these two that look like they are probably part of the same order. So I'm gonna jump in and open this one first. I can't remember. I'm struggling to remember everything that I ordered now, in fact. Ooh, <gasps> I know what this one is. This is how it's packaged, but I know what this one is and I'm so excited about it. I'm trying to get it out without the shredded paper going everywhere. Oh no, there we go, there it goes. Oh my goodness, this is just beautiful. This has been a wishlist plant of mine for such a long time. This is a Philodendron Majestic. How beautiful are those leaves? So this one is a hybrid of the Vericosum and the Sodoroi. And you can see on this new leaf at the back, it's got a very kind of like vericosum pinkness to it. Um, and actually the picture that I saw of this plant, it only had one leaf. And when I messaged the seller afterwards, I basically said, I'm, I'm making a video if you want to provide a discount code for people to use, let me know. But the seller said, by the way, since taking that photo, it has got a new leaf. It's also got another new one on the way. I hope you don't mind. And I was just like, oh my goodness, of course I don't mind. That is so exciting. And I feel like I got a really good price for this plant as well. I'll put all of the prices on the screen there so that you can see what I paid. But it's just beautiful. It's also got an ever so slightly fuzzy top of the petiole on the leaf. Might not, it's not like that. It's not like varicosum fuzzy, but it's just a little bit fuzzy. Um, but sadly, the new leaf that it's putting out, I can see has broken in the post, which is such a shame, but it does just happen sometimes. So I think what I'll probably do... I mean, to be honest, I'll probably just leave it. I'll probably just chop that bit that's kind of hanging off back. Um, and it might just be that that new leaf that it pushes out is a little bit funky looking, but after that, I would have thought it would be absolutely fine. Uh, and this one's currently in sphagnum moss. And to be honest, that's how I tend to propagate philodendron. So I think I'll probably leave it in the substrate at least while it kind of acclimates to my space. And then I'll think about getting it onto a moss pole because, oh my God, look at those aerial roots. They are insane. And I've seen some people managing to grow this plant absolutely huge. And I'll see if I can find some pictures and put them on the screen, but its leaves are just so big and glossy. And I've just been ogling over this plant for such a long time and I've really, really, really wanted one. And so I just bit the bullet and thought, hey, it's my birthday. Treat yourself, what do you want? And I want to fill a dungeon majestic. So I'm so incredibly excited to have this plant. Oh, I am genuinely so, so happy with that. That is so beautiful. I can't believe I finally own this plant. Yay! Oh, okay, let's let's keep going. Let's um let's get into the other two boxes. There's a tall one and there's a big one. Let's go with the big one first. It has been taped up very well. Is there a this way up label? Ah, there is. Oops. Oh good, and I've got lots more packing peanuts in this one. And I can't even see the top of the plants, so this is probably going to mean getting a bag, I think, unless I want to make a total mess. I think I'm going to get a rubbish bag. And with these packing peanuts as well, I know I'm putting them into a bag now just for practicality, 
Um, but you can actually just pour water on them and they dissolve. And I've heard before that some people use that as fertilizer because it's essentially just starch. It can be quite good for your plants. I did try it before and it just made the soil go a bit moldy. So I personally wouldn't recommend doing it that way, but I usually just pour water on them and let them go down the drain and then it's more eco-friendly than throwing them away. You can compost them as well. Oh, okay, so I know what this order is. This is a very cacti succulenty order. So this little one is a Ripsalis pilocarpa and I've seen them when they're big and they're absolutely amazing when they trail down. The texture of this plant is just amazing and I love Ripsalis just as a genus anyway. Oh, it's also much furrier than I thought it would be. I almost thought it might be a little bit bristly but it's so soft kind of like the monkey tail cactus you know like you think it's gonna kind of prickle your hands and get glycoids in them and then you stroke it and it's like ah oh, that's amazing that's adorable oh my goodness i love that i also love how it's just kind of standing upright i wonder how long it does that before it starts trailing down that is so so lovely amazing what's next Aha, so I know what this plant is, and I've had, well I say I've had this plant before, I technically still have lots of propagations of this plant, but I've had lots of propagations fail, and I wouldn't usually buy a new plant, but I've bought a little one. It is a Lepismium bolivianum, and I love my Lepismium bolivianum, I call it my head of hair cactus. And when I first moved in here, it was really long, it was really full, it was really trailing, and it actually got thrips. And it's one of the only jungle cacti I've ever known to get thrips. In my experience, they don't tend to be that susceptible. Um, but I chopped it up, well, I mean, initially I treated the plant and then I ended up chopping it all up because the damage was just making the plant look awful. Uh, in the videos that I showed it, I think about four months ago, you can tell it's just looking a bit deflated. It's not looking as lovely and full as this one is. And so, yeah, I did make the decision to chop it up. I've got some sections that are propagating quite well in water. I tried a couple in soil and they just rotted. I've tried some in sphagnum moss and they don't seem to be rooting. So I thought if I just got myself another little one, then at least I could add the successful sections of my one, my old one, to that and just kind of fill it out a little bit because I miss this plant. I really miss this plant. It's just so lovely. What were the other things? Oh, I know what one of them was. But there's another box, so I'm confused. Oh my goodness, this is way bigger than I thought it's going to be. It's huge. <laughs> okay, so. On the same note of wanting to fill out existing plants, uh, I've got a lovely burrow's tail that I got from the last plant swap, which I adore, I think it's beautiful. It's not the fastest grower in the world, so I thought if I just got another little one, again, I could do the same thing as the Lepismium, I could just fill it out a little bit. I am propagating some sections, but they, they are just quite slow to take, and in fact, I've got all these little bits that have just fallen off it that I will propagate. But I genuinely thought that this was going to be about the same size. Oh, I've just taken it out of its pot as the Ripsalis. I thought it was going to be a little pot one, and it's not. It's massive. Look at that. Okay, well, maybe I'm going to have several of these plants. Or maybe I just get a huge one going. Because the section that I've got is about that. I mean, it's probably about the same length as one of the strands of this at the moment. And look at the amount of new growth it's got coming up as well. That's crazy. I am absolutely blown away by that. And I think I'm right in saying, again, I know I said I put all the prices on the screen, but I think I'm right in saying I only paid about £10 for this, which considering this plant was really quite expensive probably this time last year, I think it's really good. Um, okay, that means that I know what is in this box. And I 
honestly, this is this is another wishlist plant, and I do have a cutting of this plant already, but it's just where are my scissors? But it's one that I'm being a little bit impatient with. I would probably be chopping and propagating again if I wanted to get a full plant off for myself, so I thought I would get myself the full plant. Again, I don't usually do this. This isn't, like, typically I will just kind of have a little bit of patience and I'll wait and then I'll try and try and get a full plant going myself. But again, it's my birthday. I don't want to wait. <laughs> Let me in. Oh, okay. I've just pulled it out of the tube. Oh, my camera just died. I'm still getting used to how this all works. These are very well packed, but I just want to get in there. So, this is a little bit damaged in places, but on the whole looking beautiful. This is a fern leaf cactus. And I've got a beautiful fern leaf cactus cutting from Emma's plant. And it's currently in my cabinet and it's growing beautifully, but this is one that I've just been longing, oh my God, Look how big that leaf is. That's huge. But it's one that I've been longing to have as a full plant. Oh, there goes a little bit of it. In my collection for such a long time. The moment I saw this plant, I was just like, it's insane. And I'm really, really happy that now I've got the full plants. I will, in fact, I'll show you the section I've got already. So yeah, this is the section of fern leaf cactus that I've got from Emma's plant. And it's probably a little bit longer actually than the bits that are in here already. Um, but I will put it up together and again, get a lovely, a lovely full plant going. Oh, and this is exciting as well because that means, so I've placed one more order and the other order that I've placed is a little bit bigger and a little bit more extravagant. Uh, and I'm kind of happy that that one's safe till last. Not that I haven't loved everything that I've got so far, but if I was gonna save one till last, that would be the one. So I'm guessing that'll probably show up in the next day or two. Oh my goodness, so I just finished filming and I was just having a clear up and I realized that there's another plant that I didn't order that's just been thrown in. And it looks adorable. I'll get it out so that I can show you. I think it says the name, does it say the name of the pot? I don't know what this is. What is this? Look at that. It almost looks like, like crystals. It's so beautiful. It says Fenestraria on the pot. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But that is so adorable and so kind of the seller to include that. So if any of you know anything more about this plant, let me know because I currently know nothing. But yay, that was a nice little extra surprise. <laughs> So I'm still in my pyjamas, but I couldn't wait to open this one. This is the one that I have been the most excited about. It is now the next day, so I've had three unboxing days, which is super, super, super exciting. But yeah, as I said yesterday, I'm really glad that this one came last because I can't wait to show you what's in this box. I've got so many wishlist plants. Ooh, and the end of the box has been ripped. I mean, it's been in this bag, so I'm guessing, oh, I hope it hasn't been trodden on or anything. Again, everything looks really, really well packaged in here. So even if it has had a little bit of treading on, which I hope it hasn't, I'm hoping that it will still be okay. Oh my goodness, I can see one of the leaves and it is huge. Oh my god, this is the most insanely huge cutting ever. But it looks in perfect condition. Ooh. Ah. So this is a philodendron esmeraldense. I think that's how you pronounce it. Esmeraldense narrow form. And oh my god, that leaf is beautiful beautiful. I, I can't remember actually if this is a hybrid plant, but if it was, if it is, sorry, I would suspect it's probably got some melanochrysum in there. It almost looks a little bit like a lighter non-velvety melanochrysum. Let's have a look at the roots. 
<gasps> There's a new leaf coming out as well. Ooh. Oh, okay, it's unrooted. I couldn't remember if it was rooted or unrooted. Um, but that is the cut that I've got. And yeah, it's got this leaf, oh, which actually might need a little bit of help. I know I say you shouldn't usually help leaves, but that one looks like it's pushing out. Oh, there we go. That was easy. Ah, <gasps> yay, I'm so happy it's got a new growth point. Oh my God, that is just stunning. And I think I probably will prop this one in sphagnum moss. I've said it before, but for me, philodendron tends to, like sphagnum moss tends to be my go-to for philodendron. Um, and it tends to work really well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is such a beautiful, beautiful cutting. I'm over the moon with that. I am so, so, so happy with that. Yay, okay, let's do another one. Dear God, these are the most generous cuttings I've ever seen. This is incredible. So, this, uh, I'm gonna show you a Hoya cutting that I've got, and I thought it would be really quite small, and it's massive. Look at that, this is a Hoya obovata variegata, <laughs> obovata variegata, a variegated Hoya obovata, and that is amazing. Oh, I mean, technically I could take multiple cuts of this and kind of put it up and get lots of bits going, I'm not sure, I'm probably propagating soil for this one. I know I've said recently that I was previously for some reason really scared by soil propagation. It just, I had a really low success rate with it and it freaked me out, but Hoyas nowadays, I do tend to kind of exclusively propagate in soil. So yeah, I'm excited to pop that up. That is gorgeous. Look at the variegation on those leaves. And I love how with this plant, none of the leaves are particularly uniform. Like they're all a little bit wavy, they're, I don't know, like some Hoyas are a little bit more predictable in their growth and this one's just a bit funky and weird and I really, really love it. I can't get over the size of that cutting. It's heavy as well. Like I know Hoyas are dense, but that is a heavy cutting. And there are a couple more, if not a few more things in here. This one, oh, I know what this one is. So this is a Maranta, it's not particularly rare, it's just one that I've wanted for a really long time. Um, I'm sure it's got like an official Latin name and I'll find it and I'll put it on the screen, but I just know it as the Maranta Silver. Oh, that is perfect. Is it the same as the Silver Band? I don't know. But isn't that cool? Just look at the silveriness of that leaf. This might not be the best light to be showing you them in. I um, I actually was having a bit of a rearrange when these arrived. I've just kind of been pottering in my pajamas, creating a desk space here instead of a dining table because it's more practical. Um, and I just grabbed the box, set up my camera and wanted to film straight away because I just wanted to get into the box. But that's gorgeous. And by the looks of it, it's also been flowering as well. So I'm guessing this came from quite a well-established plant. Uh, and this one, I think I'll probably propagate in water. For me, Maranta does just propagate amazingly in water. It's how most of the time I tend to do it. Um, I could do it in moss or perlite, but my go-to tends to be water. Oh, and this cellar as well has also popped something extra in here because I didn't order the last thing in the box. Um, I did, however, order this. Let me get into it. So this is another wish list philodendron. This is a philodendron panatilobum. And oh my goodness, that leaf is perfect. It's so perfect. It's got another new little one just there. They feel really well hydrated as well. Again, I'll take it out and just have a look. I don't think it's rooted, um, but I'll just have a little look. But these have been packaged amazingly. Like they've got obviously bubble wrap, they're all in hydrated sphagnum moss. They've also got the dreaded packing peanuts. Oh, okay, this one is rooted. Oh, it's got amazing roots. Look at those. Oh my God, this looks like such a healthy cutting. Oh, and I've just noticed it's got a new little growth point just there as well starting to put out some new growth. It's kind of, 
it's, there's something about this philodendron that's almost a little bit anthurium -y. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I love, I mean, you can probably guess why I love this plant, but one of the many reasons that I love this plant is because it's got that wide lobiness, and that's something that I just adore in plants. But that is very, very classically seen in certain types of anthurium, and this is actually quite robust and almost a little bit waxier in texture. So yeah, I'm gonna put it back into its moss for the time being and I'll get, I'll probably, to be honest, get most of these into my bedroom cabinet. I'm having a clear out of like rehab plants in there at the moment, so I have got some space where I can create a little separate zone for them. And I thought that was it, but there is something else in here. Oh my God. What is this? It says Hoya das Yantha, and I have heard of that Hoya before, but it's not one that I currently own. So let's have a look. Oh my goodness, this is such a beautiful, beautiful cutting. Oh my goodness, its roots are incredible. So that's what it looks like. And it's amazing, like look at the size of that. But then look at those roots. Aren't they incredible? I'm guessing this has maybe been in a prop box or something. Um, but that is literally ready to be potted. That's amazing. Oh, that's so sweet of them to include an extra one. I, I am honestly blown away by those plants. As I say, there are some in there that I've wanted for such a long time. And although I've been trying to be better and not buy plants as much recently, when it's this time of year and you're allowed to treat yourself, I feel like, why not get some wishless plants? And yeah, all of the ones I've got, I, I'm over the moon with. I'm absolutely over the moon with. I love them all for different reasons. I feel like I've got a lovely selection. I know I've got some here that have the potential to grow very, very big. Like, for example, the Esmeralda Dance. I think that one can get huge. But I haven't, like, as you've seen in this video, I haven't gone and bought, like, any more big, big plants because I am just getting a little bit tight on space. And as much as I would love to just fill every single corner of my house with plants I need to live here as well and Yoli is a bit destructive at times so yeah I wanted to go with mainly cuttings and small plants but I'm so happy with them and yeah I hope that you enjoyed this video and if any of you have any care tips for any of these plants please do drop me a comment down below if you've got any tips on propagating or getting things to root I'd be really really grateful but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, have a lovely day, and I will see you in the next video. Hey, sexy plant lovers.